Hey guys, thank you for watching. Today is another eyeshadow palette review. Um, what else is new? <laughs> I feel like we're always reviewing eyeshadow palettes on my channel, and I'm sorry if you're getting bored, but that's literally like what I've been falling in love with. And here I have the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection palette, one of them. And this one is in Bling Boss. I saw this in Ulta, and I automatically just fell in love with this color scheme specifically, just because fall is coming. Unfortunately, summer is coming to an end, and I'm like getting into fall vibes, and yeah, so when I saw this palette, you will see, I think it's definitely fall season oriented, and you can create a lot of beautiful looks with this. So let's jump right into the review. The packaging is so gorgeous. I mean, I love this. And her adorable picture on the back is stunning. Like, if I ever come out with my own palette, I hope I have something fun and quirky on the back like this. So let's open it. And the price point for this, guys, was like, yes, please. I think it was like $15. Was it $15? I think it was $15. It's Morphe, guys, so it's very affordable. We have our bubble wrap, and here it is. I'm so excited. Oh, okay, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. And when you open it, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. We obviously have our paper that no one likes. Oh, I love it. It's so fun for fall. And I am completely enjoying how she has a very nice mirror. It could have been a little bigger. I mean, the bowl is like. Never mind, I'm just being picky. But I l also love how the shades are included on, like, next to the shades instead of on the back. That gets me so annoyed. I don't even bother, like, naming the shades in my video. I'm like, I'm using this one right here. But I really enjoy when the shades are labeled right next to the eyeshadow color because it's the little details. So let's get our brushes um i don't see any brushes to like set my concealer underneath my eyebrows so i'm just gonna take um an easy palette real quick my graveyard girl swamp queen uh, you can never go wrong with this one guys and we're gonna take oh my god i've used this so much this is a disaster <laughs> music big baby I brought this with me last month on vacation. This is like my vacation palette. I brought it to Portugal, Tennessee. I just brought it to Savannah. I bring this everywhere. It just seems unbreakable because I put it in my suitcase and that thing gets thrown around. <laughs> and I just have my complete trust with this. It, oh my god, but it's sadly limited edition. So you can't buy this anywhere, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I think you can, maybe like on eBay for probably triple of what I bought it for. Um, good luck trying to find it. But I truly recommend this palette. Unfortunately, it is sold out and Tarte Cosmetics does not make it anymore. Sorry. I'm going to use Hush Hush right here. <laughs> Just because it looks like a very good transition shade. So I'm taking my Morphe M441 brush and I'm popping that right into the crease. Oh, I love this mirror. Mm. Makeup just gets me so excited for the fall just because it's a whole, it's like a whole new era of colors. And then when spring comes, it's all ready for the colors and the bright pops of pink and yellow and blue. But then fall's like, let's relax and tone it down. <laughs> I love the fall. I cannot wait for the next month. Oh my gosh. So this shade so far is really cute. Um, it's like almost, if you build it up, it can be a really deep purple. But so far so good. It's looking really nice in the crease. I'm so excited. I don't know what this look is going to be. 
you know me guys I'm always going with the flow I'm going to now go in with Rockstar right up here in the middle and we're gonna put that right in the crease as well right next to Hush Hush with using the same brush and I just want to use this to deepen it up a little bit oh that's fun actually this brush may be too big for what I want to do um, I'm taking my Lexi 25 Tampa blending brush the label is seriously coming off and I cannot read it anymore <laughs> Hmm, why is this not blending nicely? <gasps> that is so weird. Oh my god, guys, look at that. That is so weird. Mm. Why are you doing that? I am not liking how that looks at all. Um, this is very weird. It's not blending. This is so weird. It's just... I don't know why it's blending like that. It's almost like stuck to my eyelid and it's not moving. And it's really making me frustrated. Okay, I think it looks... Blended out better than it was before. Um... <laughs> That was fun. I don't know, I really didn't like that. Anyway, it, I don't know, it was just a weird blending out the crease. Like this one was stuck to my lid and it was not moving. Weird, guys, very weird. Um, I'm actually going to go, hmm. I'm going to take one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes out of the palettes. I love the blending part of her brush just because it works so well I'm going to take mystic which is a very um, one of the darkest purples in this palette we're going to take that shade and put it right in our outer V using this brush and for me this brush just fits so perfectly in my outer V it does the job in like two seconds So far I have to say that these shades are perfectly pigmented and the fallout is not even there guys. It's working so good and obviously I have a full face on with makeup today and we will see if there's any fallout which I don't see so far so it's good. It's going good. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, I don't even know if I should do this but I really want to but I'm just second guessing myself because it's not working out like how I want to. Where is my damn brush? Oh my god, I'm getting aggravated. Ah! I want to go in with Berry Treasure. That's cute. Hmm. I just need to take a second to appreciate the names. Anyway, Berry Treasure looks really, really cute. I'm going in with a brush. This is a domed packer brush. I don't know. I, it has no name on it. And I'm going to pack that on top of that shade that we just put in the outer V. Ooh, that's like black. Oh. Hmm. Guys, I'm so outside of my comfort zone right now. I hate putting black shades on my eyes. <laughs> oh my god oh my god like you never you will never see me put black on my eye on this channel guys this is never happening ever again 
I want to run away from shades like this all the time. I'm not even redipping back into the palette. We're just gonna touch it up on this eye. For the cut crease, I'm going to use my NARS number no. seven brush. It's a great concealer brush, and my Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. My color is in point seventy five. Um, I literally just take a little bit of this, and you guys know my trick if you've watched other videos before. I hate my mirror. Um, I pull down my lashes. <laughs> I don't know why I laugh every time I do this. It's just, I look so ridiculous. But this is my trick. Oh, I got it on my under eye. Hmm. So I pull down my lashes, and basically just gives me like a flat surface to work with instead of trying to put the cut crease while working with the creases so it just doesn't make sense to me um this does because you get a really precise line without i don't know putting it on this way it's like you're trying to put on concealer while your eyelid is so wrinkly and it doesn't work out for me so this way is so much easier for me i don't know i recommend you guys try it just try and see if it works for you. I'm going to take the other side of the Anastasia palette and I'm going to put on Sparks. It's the shade right here. We are going to pack that on and blend it in between um, Berry Treasure, like the outer V, and with this cut crease. Hmm. This was probably a big mistake. I'm just gonna blend that in. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Oh my god, that looks atrocious. We're just gonna pack on some glitter because the glitter fixes everything. I am so shocked of how, how everything is literally not blending. Like I'm gonna go in with bling bling. Mm. It sounds so cute to say. And we're going to pack that on this crease. This cut crease because, oh my gosh, Lord, something needs to work today. Ah! Where is the pigment? Oh my God, guys, I am so frustrated. girl. Why? Why? What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god, I am so completely disappointed. What the hell is going on? This is, this is bad. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this on my finger because it could not be. Where is the glitter? <laughs> is this a matte shade? Um, hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't know. It's like, okay, it's shiny, but here, on the palette it makes it look like there's glitter in there it's supposed to look it just looks like it's gonna be a like a foil shadow <clears throat> i am disappointed and i want to take this off This eye is done. I I don't know what to do anymore. I'm in my head. I'm thinking like maybe liner would help. Maybe some actual glitter would help. But guys, holy crap! I'm so frustrated with this palette. These shades are just not what I thought they would be. They're not how I expected them to blend it's just not making me happy it's a shame <laughs> uh i want to 
to gem this purple one. I'm gonna take another risk and put gem right in my inner corner. I may hate it, but I really wanna try something. You know what? It, it doesn't look bad, but I need a different brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take another little Hello Kitty brush. Oh my god, did you guys watch my last video? Every other brush was like, Hello Kitty. They should sponsor me. Oh, hmm. For underneath the eyes, I think I should go as simple as possible. There's a hell of a lot going on. So I'm gonna go back in with Hush Hush with the Packer Brush side of the Anastasia brush. Hmm. I like how there's no fallout because as I was doing that, I usually get kickback in my eye and I really appreciate how that did not happen this time. It worked out. It's just so easy to put on right now. I really appreciate not having kickback. So now that it's all together, I actually still have one more thing that I want to do. We're going to add some glitter with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal in Distortion. And we're going to take this and put it right on top of gem this purple shade oh girl mm -mm. Mm. all right guys so i just popped on some mascara i honestly um, need to shut my mouth because this look turned out beautiful i think everything um as hard as and as aggravating as everything was I'm really, really happy with how this look turned out. Like, I just want to look at myself in the monitor right now. And I feel like this is honestly such a cool... Um, I know it's, like, fun with the inner corner, but this can be a really cool fall look. And there's tons of fall looks that you can create with this palette. I mean, it screams fall. <laughs> there's just... I think the gem shade, and even right here... This honestly just looked like a black to me. I'm gonna put up swatches up right here, right now, but you can have so much fun with this palette, guys. I promise you. Other than that, the fallout was um, not even there. It was non-existent. I was very happy that there was no fallout. It was so easy putting it underneath um, like the bottom lash line because didn't kick back into your eye, which is so painful. Like you all know, we're crying. We're like we're putting on um, eyeshadow on the bottom lash line. It's so funny. <sighs> Beauty is pain, girl. <laughs> but I'm very happy with um, how everything turned out. Uh, yeah, the aggravation was a little bit annoying, and I'm honestly going to use this again in another video, but with a different primer. Just using like a regular cream primer without any concealer. Maybe the concealer was too sticky or, I don't know, different formulas sometimes don't clash, guys. So, I'm going to say that because I've seen so many YouTubers review this and it's perfect. Like, 100% perfect. The blending was good. Pig pigment's there. I agree with that. Pigment is so there. Um, even though the... <coughs> Glitters like shade was not what I thought it would be. It's still really pretty and shiny. I just honestly thought it was gonna be like a foil, it's gonna pop, there's gonna be glitter. I don't know, but we'll see in the swatches. Um not in the swatches, we'll see like in another video. I'll obviously try it out again, again with a different primer. We'll see. I will leave a link down below where you can purchase this. And I think you should. There's also three other palettes. I did not want to get the other three just because I did not like the color scheme. They were very... One was exactly like the Urban Decay Heat Palette. Like, you know, like the warm tones. We all have a palette that's filled with warm tones. 
Another one was kind of like an army green theme with actually a really cool gold shade. Um, I love it. I think that's honestly the only one that I would get in after this one. And the other one was really cool, uh, cold tones, cool tones, kind of like under the sea vibes. Um, not shades that I like personally for myself. That's way out of my comfort zone. <sighs> but yeah, this one was my favorite so far. And it really attracted me because it was like screaming fall. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you think of this palette. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys.